Hey guys, today we're making another fantastic recipe that's easy to make and done in under 30 minutes, pan grilled cuttlefish with artichokes. Now for those of you that are not familiar with cuttlefish, it's very similar to squid. In fact, it's from the same class as squid and octopus. Now to make this recipe, if you can't find cuttlefish in your area, that's okay, you substitute it for squid. Okay, let's get started. We're gonna begin by thinly slicing two cloves of garlic. Then finally dice half of an onion, crack open a jar of artichoke hearts, drain it, and then cut each one in half. I'm gonna be using about one cup of artichoke hearts for this recipe. And finally, I've got my cuttlefish here. I bought this frozen, I've thawed it out. I'm gonna pat it down with some paper towels. Make sure you get in there and get all that water out of it. Then rub some extra virgin Spanish olive oil all over it and season it with sea salt. Okay guys, now we can start cooking. Grab a non-stick frying pan. Guys, for this recipe, it's very important to use a non-stick frying pan because we are gonna be using no oil when we cook the cuttlefish. So make sure you got a non-stick frying pan. You wanna heat it with a medium high heat. Once the pan gets hot, add the cuttlefish into the pan. You wanna cook it for about a minute and a half per side. After a total cooking time of three minutes, you wanna remove the cuttlefish from the pan and cover it with some foil paper. Then using the same pan with the same heat, add between one to two tablespoons of extra virgin Spanish olive oil. Then add the garlic and the onions and start mixing them with the oil. And make sure you scrape everything that was left over from the cuttlefish. As always, this is gonna give our dish that magical flavor. About a minute or so after adding the garlic and onions, add the cut artichoke hearts. Then season with sea salt and freshly cracked black pepper and mix everything together. You wanna mix this continuously, that way the garlic doesn't burn. About two minutes after adding the artichokes, add a quarter cup of white wine and a squeeze of fresh lemon juice and give it a quick mix. About two minutes after adding the wine, and as you can see, there's almost no wine left in here, let's go ahead and add the cuttlefish back into the pan, toss a couple cherry tomatoes in there and lower the fire to a low heat. It's been about four minutes since we added the cuttlefish back into the pan and it should be heated through. So let's go ahead and remove our pan from the heat and let's start plating our dish. Okay, our dish is done. It looks beautiful and it smells so amazing in here. I'm gonna get in there and give this a try. And look at that cuttlefish. That looks perfectly cooked. Okay, here I go, salud. Such an amazing combination of flavors here. And that cuttlefish is perfectly cooked. It's not chewy at all. You know, that's the secret. You don't want to overcook cuttlefish. Minute and a half per side on medium high heat. And then we put it back into the pan. That was just to heat it through. The perfect texture. And then all the rest of the ingredients, the artichokes, the white wine, the garlic, the onions, just everything. It's a beautiful harmony of flavors. This is an amazing dish. If you enjoyed today's video on making this recipe, please hit that like button, leave me a comment below, and don't forget to subscribe. Until the next time, hasta luego.